What's up everybody? Hope you're all doing fantastic. Today we're gonna be looking up how to spawn objects. Or create an object spawner rather. Which I hope you guys find useful because this thing just about broke me. So what you're gonna need is uh, two cubes. These two, just two regular cubes. And we're gonna make a couple, two scripts for them. Program asset. I'm gonna call this one spawner. Let's say spawner two. Okay, we're gonna need a uh, we're gonna need a uh, game object. Call this spawner. Make it public. Drag it out. We're gonna need an event custom. Okay, call that spawn. VRC instantiate. This is gonna connect like that. Um, take our spawner, drop it down here. This. It's fine. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna need a create node, game object, get transform. Speak over here, zoom in. goes up to the instance. Check this noodle down. Where is it? It's in here. Ah, transform get. Ah, here we go, set position. Also gonna need to transform get position. Is it for that script for now? A little messy, but that's how it needs to be, I believe. Okay, so we're gonna add a uh, that script to our spawn. We we'll call it spawner two. You're gonna wanna target the uh, spawner trigger once you add an udon behavior in there. Oh, no, sorry, you're not going to do that. Ignore that. You are gonna want here, you're gonna want to pick your spawnable object, and you can do that through assets or scene. So um just gonna pick your spawn to die. And we can go to our spawner trigger. And we're gonna do need to do the same thing here. Uh, create VR chat udon spawn trigger. Alright, so we 
this one. We're going to need a udon pager variable and a string. We're going to call the udon pager, the udon one target, and this one target. going to need an interact and an udon uh, behavior send custom event. So your target target is going to be your spawner object, this right here, and the string you pass to it is what we named in here, spawn, and it will spawn the die. So you click the button, it runs the script, which targets the object, which passes a string. Spawns an object. So let's see if this works. Say it works. Perfect. And all right, many hours later, we are back and um, ready for phase two. So basically the way it was just set up only works for local, which is great if you just want to have things spawn for one person for whatever reason. So how do we make it global? global spawned objects, so you spawn an object and it spawns for everybody. Well, we have to change our scripts. So, let's do it. Basically, here's what we need to do. Uh, let's open up our spawner 2. Or spawner. Keep this exactly the way it is. And add a custom event with a global spawn and a send custom network event with spawn. So basically create node, custom event, create node, network event, connect them, global spawn, spawn, spawn. That's all you have to do for that. Let's target our spawner trigger. This one's going to change. We're going to use the send event on mouse down pre made asset script. So go ahead and switch to that. 
Once you have done that, leave it exactly as it is. Under the event name, use global spawn and target your spawner object. Make sure you always go ahead and check synchronized position. It's good just to have that when you're doing things with objects. And that should work, make it work now on global. The only interesting thing is um, when you use event on mouse down, I don't think that this becomes like a notified interact object. So you might want to press is trigger or I'm not sure if that one will work or you might want to use like event on interact. Uh, there's a couple different things you could do, but it works. So you could always just, you know, you could even just put a big thing on it saying press me or something. Um, but yeah, that's how you make it global. Uh, we'll see if I can show you it real quick. Sometimes my game does not like recording and uh, running two points in 4K. So it doesn't show the scenes very well. I try to display how global works, but we will try. All right, now I can tell it's 100% going to be a little choppy, but we'll give it a go. It's working on both clients. Hopefully that, uh, <laughs> Hopefully that will show up. But as you can see, they've appeared on both in the exact same positions. This uh, is able to be replicated and useful to somebody to spawn bar drinks or food or a vending machine or cars or I don't know, man. Whatever you guys feel like using it for, I'm sure you guys are all creative and come up with something cool. I'm just here to show you how to do it. Um. You know, drop me a like, comment, or subscribe. Tell me if you had any problems. Tell me what to do next. I'm always looking for more ideas. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video.